Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. Let's go to Aunt Alicia to see what's happened today in history. Thank you, Peyton. Today in history on April 21st, 1980, Rosie Ruiz fooled the world when she finished first in the women's division of the Boston Marathon with a time of 2 hours, 31 minutes, and 56 seconds. She was rewarded with a medal, a laurel wreath, and a silver bowl. However, Ruiz raised suspicions because it was a 25-minute improvement over her New York City Marathon time. Also raising suspicion, it was when the third fastest marathon time in history for a woman. Eight days later, Ruiz was stripped of her victory after race officials learned she jumped into the race about a mile before the finish line. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, Ana Alicia. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. Wingsuit diving goes mainstream. Wingsuit diving, a sport where daredevils leap off airplanes or mountains, and fly at speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour with the help of just their birdman or squirrel suits has been around in some form or shape since the 1930s. However, it is only recently thanks to stars like Jeb Corliss that it had gained worldwide attention. Now with the announcement of the world's first Grand Prix, this extreme sport is finally going mainstream. Organized by the, new, by the newly formed World Wingsuit League, the event that will pit the world's finest flyers against one another is scheduled to take place on the weekend of October 13th in China's Hunan province. Now let's go to Noah to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is turkey and cheese sandwich, hummus cup, baby carrots, diced peaches, mustard, and milk. But petite. Now let's go back to Peyton. Patriot, the yearbook is currently on sale. Remind your parents to get your yearbook today before they sell out. All yearbook purchases must be made through myschoolbucks.com. Scholars, this month will show that we are FSA ready. Here are the upcoming April FSA dates. Every day we will have an activity that is FSA related. Today, teachers record an FSA commercial and share to the Renaissance Charter at Pines Facebook page. Have fun and be creative. And finally, Patriots, today is Admin Appreciation Day. Please take a moment to say thank you to our awesome admin here at our school. They include those that work at the front office of the school and principals. Show them you do appreciate all they do. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Peyton. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 84 degrees Fahrenheit and thunderstorms. Looks like a rainy day, so let's get our umbrellas back out. Now let's go to someone for the joke of the day. Thank you, Dee. And here's today's joke of the day. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Because it wasn't peeling well. Now let's go to Solomon for today's birthday. Thanks, Samuel. That was hilarious. Today's birthday boys are Anthony Lopez, Victor Chrysostomo, and Leonel Prisado. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Barrow, Ms. Yearwood, Mr. Bonilla, and Ms. Gonzalez. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's rule, which was, what letter of the alphabet appears at the start of many questions? The correct answer to the riddle was why. Now for today's riddle. I come from a mine and always get surrounded by wood. Everyone uses me. What am I? Again, I come from a mine and always get surrounded by wood. Everyone uses me. What am I? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. When is we announce on tomorrow's morning announcements? Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget to remember, unite, rise. Have a great day.